Hey everybody, welcome back to Race of History. We're going to get into a Sabaton song today, Defense of Moscow. This is the music video for it. I figured I would do it because on the Discord we had been talking about World War II and the Operation Barbarossa and just kind of the overall defense of the Soviet Union by the Soviets. Um, so I thought this would be a you know, a good song to look at considering the subject. So that's what we're going to do today. I also have some good and potentially bad news. I got uh, the search roaming delivered earlier today. So um, I think tomorrow, I think I'm going to go out, get all the rest of the stuff that I need, and then tomorrow I'll probably try the search drumming so we'll see um but that's that's later i'll figure all that out but i wanted to give everybody a heads up that i got it and it it should be pretty soon with all that being said let's get into it sabaton the defense of moscow Okay, so I had talked the other day about how I've been watching a series over production and war factories leading in, into and during World War II. And one of the really interesting ones that, obviously, I knew that the Russians had moved their factories from the western part of the Soviet Union further east, right? Um, that's obviously a pretty well-known thing. I guess what I had never really considered was the logistical nightmare that that proposal actually was, right? Um, so you have communications cut, so there really is not a whole lot of communication. The only thing that they're really told is take everything you could possibly take further east, burn everything else, right? Now, initially, Zhukov's orders and, and Stalin's orders are to outright defend these industrial centers, you know, to the last man. They're sending literally anybody they can find to try to defend these places. But when it becomes obvious that that's not going to work, then they they give the order to move all of this stuff to the east. And watching this series on war factories really put into context for me how crazy of a feat that was, especially considering, you know, the the Soviet style is not really known for efficiency. Right? Like, that's not really something they're super well known for. 
So the idea that they were able to do it, just take apart all these factories and move them further east, is really kind of an incredible feat, you know, altogether. But yeah, I mean, the Soviets are in a bad spot. When the Germans first invade, they're taking an enormous amount of land. They're taking an enormous amount of POWs and killing a ton of Soviet soldiers. I mean, the Soviets lose an outrageous number of soldiers in the early parts of this conflict. They just have to hold on for long enough that they can, they can kind of catch their footing. And so that's what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to hold the important cities or areas that they have to hold and just give themselves enough time to kind of get everything else back up to speed. Face the bullets of their guns, Russia's daughters and her sons, who are the brave, stand against the typhoon wave. From the mountains and the plains, coming thousands on the trains, day and night, rolling in to join the fight. From Kazakhstan to Magadan, call of the motherland, Russia shall prevail. Standing for the land, the blood for the whole land. Hear the mother must call, the race of the storm. Moscow will never give in, the race will surrender. Man, the last two songs have had just an in incredible back and forth between guitar and drums whenever the guitar comes up, right? Because they always have their the point in all of their songs where they let the guitar go nuts. But in a lot of cases, the drummer either goes out or is playing like the same essential you know playing essentially what he's been playing throughout the whole song i feel like in the last two the drums have have like sped up and and come in with the guitar whenever the guitar is ready to do its solo and it's this awesome kind of back and forth between the two where both are kind of slowly revving up towards the end i don't know it sounds awesome i love it Yeah, that was another really great song. Um, again, the the Russians are just in, or the Soviets are just in such a, a bad situation at the start of the war. Those factories they have in the West are rolling out tanks literally right to the front. I mean, they're going right off of, you know, out of the factory and 
on, on onto the front immediately. They're doing everything they can to try to curb the tide of this massive, massive German offensive. And obviously we know that eventually that German offensive is going to run out of steam. And when it does, the, the Soviets are, you know, are very, very ready to go on the offensive themselves. And so it ends up turning rather quickly. Um, and that's the, that's the turn of the whole war, right? I mean, if, if the Germans take the Soviet Union, like, that's a, that's a, I don't know how they don't sustain long term if they take the Soviet Union. But if they don't, even if the Soviets don't end up pushing them all the way back, even if the Soviets can just stall the Russian, I mean, the Germans there, then you're in a position where the Germans are in a, a really bad spot. So this is obviously the turning point of the war, this defense of the Soviet Union, defense of Moscow. It's, you know, it, it changes the, the trajectory of world history. So uh, really great song, great topic. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Help me keep building the channel over here. I'll put the link to the Discord down below, and I'll see you all next time.